we will move to the second keynote speaker, Isabel Alves de Castro, uh, also from New Zealand, and we will hear about the uh, geothermal and lithium extraction projects in New Zealand. <coughs> Hi everyone, I'm, I'm Isabella and myself and Campbell are representing Geo40. We are a sustainable mineral recovery company from New Zealand. Uh, we from Geo40 have developed innovative technologies to recover minerals from underground fluids for the deployment at scale in a global transition towards cleaner energy and greener critical minerals. Here is Geofolly's disclaimer information regarding the presentation during this conference. So firstly, we'd like to thank you to Geofolly's journey. Mike O'Sullivan is the founder of Geofolly and he has developed a project when he was in high school on the potential extraction of valuable minerals such as lithium, cesium, amongst others. And he later became a metallurgist and has worked in the mine sector. In early 2010, he decided to investigate further mineral extraction in geothermal fluids in New Zealand. Uh, and this journey was initiated with a project to extract silica in the mineral that, because it's a mineral that causes um, issues in power plants, such as silica scale and pipes, and reinjection wells. So in 2019, we have then achieved an important milestone with the first silica plant extraction from geothermal fluids in the world. This has then allowed us to continue the investigations with lithium and boron extraction. We now have a power plant operation in New Zealand to validate our technology to extract lithium from geothermal fluids um, as well as other brine types such as salar and oil field brines. Um, here are some images to illustrate our journey with silica extraction. We started uh, from a pilot plant and then followed with a demonstration plant and commercial scale plant. We can now process about 8,000 tons of brine per day. And we are now following this same journey with lithium extraction. Uh, and in time, our intention is to repeat this same journey with boron, cesium, and so on. Here is a summary of our current silica extraction process. So we receive the geothermal fluid after cool down and processed at power station. And as you can see, the red dotted line area is the geophotic silica extraction process steps where we can concentrate the fluid using membrane technology. Um, the concentrate is then sent to our refinery where we can process it further into our final product that we then send out to customers around the world. This slide is uh, an illustration of the countries that we usually send our product to. It covers the Americas, Europe, Asia, Australia, and so on. Um, we are situated in a power plant station in Taupo, New Zealand. Uh, and we have access to brine before its rejection, as I showed in the previous slide. And here is the image of our silica extraction plant. Uh, on the power plant and we current uh, process um, 8,000 tons per day of brine and we produce about 5,000 tons per year of colloidal silica. Um, this uh, extraction plant is in operation for about 18 months. Um, our colloidal silica uh, can be applied in different sectors in the industry. So we sell um, customized products to different customers around the world. Um, and compared to conventional uh, silica production, our process is about 120th of the carbon footprint as um, conventional processes, which makes our, our process more environmental friendly. Uh, in 
In addition, we are also a process that facilitates geothermal fluid reinjection. Silica is a common issue in geothermal power plants, and therefore its removal facilitates both power plant operations and the extraction of other valuable minerals in the fluid before its reinjection. Uh, as you can see, this picture is a cross-section view of a geothermal reinjection pipe. So this is showing um, silica scaling growing on the surface of the pipes. This can cause the blockage of the pipes and costs involving the maintenance and cleanage of these pipes uh, for further use. So geophoris technology enables both power plant operations and the extraction of silica and other minerals in geothermal fluids. So we are also proud to be a sustainable um, process and social commitment to respect the values of the tribal land where we are at, uh, with many of our employees, for example, being native and from the Maori tradition in New Zealand. Geophonics lithium extraction technology is based on an ion exchange chemistry. Uh, as the picture below, you can see there are different types for direct lithium extraction technologies. And we use a um, high exchange type with a different, different physical approach than other direct lithium, direct lithium extraction technologies. Um, and our technology is highly selective to extract lithium from lines and also produce a very pure lithium concentrate. We have validated our technology in lab in many different fluids such as geothermal fluids in New Zealand, in Europe, uh, in many other countries as well as Argentinian salar brine and oil field brines, for example the ones found in the US um, and we have successfully produced um, lithium carbonate battery grade uh, in a large scale process just to validate our technology and as a proof of concept that our technology works for, for different types of brine. Um, this is the image of our current power plant in New Zealand where we are testing geothermal fluids and as well as other fluid types that we are going to test in a sequence that is going to be solar brine and oil field brines. Uh, the main objective of this pilot plant is to give us more information regarding the process costs for each brine type. So that will give us more information on design demonstration plant and moving forward with scaling up the technology. So the next steps are to validate the technology in a pilot scale and estimate process costs. Um, and future steps are to build a demonstration plant of minimum 500 tons per annum of lithium carbonate. Uh, we estimate the cost to be around 20 million dollars to build it and the location is still to be defined depending on the progress with our pilot plant work. Um, and our goal is to deploy where brine access is ready and project infrastructure in place to facilitate our journey with the lithium extraction as we have done already with silica extraction. We have started working with water extraction. Uh, we have had uh, pilot studies performed in 2019. Um, and we are now planning to design and build a pilot plant in New Zealand to extract borrow um, later this year, uh, in early 2023, to be completed as a separate milestone um, in parallel while we run the lithium pilot plant. Um, this is our board of directors and we are a private company with over 350 shareholders uh, with the majority being private investors. Uh, thank you very much for your time and if you have any questions I'm here to answer to your questions um, 
and Kevbo is also uh, here available to help answering any questions. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Isabella. I believe that you are also with us on Zoom. Okay, we will see. And if you have any questions, please, we can use that opportunity to have people from New Zealand with us today. Um, hello, a very nice presentation. Thank you very much. Um, you mentioned that your direct lithium extraction step, you use a, an ion exchange structure that is different than others. Um, could you explain us a bit more the chemistry, like what type of resin it is and how it's different from the other ones available? Because that's the goal we are all trying to achieve in here. 